Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. If you read my monthly newsletter, then you'll know that I'm attempting to complete my Road to the Elves project this month. And that involves me revisiting quite a few of the locations that I've shot previously um, in the hope that I get better light or better conditions or I'm even just a better photographer. But I've also got a couple of locations which I've never actually photographed before. And behind me, is one of them. It's called the Prince's Cairn and it marks the spot where Bonnie Prince Charlie left Scotland forever. He embarked on a boat for France here in September 1746 after the disaster of Culloden and never returned. And for some reason, I don't know why, I've never photographed it. So I'm here to Try and get an image or two of the cairn, but also this beautiful loch that we're at. This is Loch Lanuv, and I'm sure you all know your Gaelic, so that's Loch of the Caves. But first of all, let's start with the cairn. So, I've come along to Kamastarach Beach now. My original plan was to come for a sunset, because this is facing uh, due west, but it's very, very overcast as you can probably see. So, I don't think we're going to get much of a sunset. So, I'd love to say plan B, but this is probably plan D or E now. But I'm going to go down, because the last I think three or four times I've been here. I've only ever explored one side of the beach and there's an entire other part of it which I've never set foot on. Um, so I thought today, 
Since the weather conditions aren't great, I think we'll call this a scouting trip, right? I'm going to head down to the beach, take a wander along to the far side, the part I've never been to, and just have a look, scout out the location, see if there's any spots for maybe a future sunset. So, let's go. I can't remember if it was last year or the year before, but I shot this location for sunset and then the very next morning I did a sunrise there. I'll, I'll stick a link on the screen and uh, you'll notice that I'm very much still at the same spot on the beach, which is why I thought I'd come along and see what exactly is here on the other end. Right, this might be a slight change of plan. I've come down onto the beach and as my luck would have it, the only other people on the beach <laughs> are at the far end, just the one there. So I'm thinking it looks a little bit weird if I make a beeline straight for them. So I'll concentrate on this area again for a while and we'll see what happens. Right, orientation time. This island here, kind of flat looking one, that's the Isle of Egg, that's one of the Inner Hebrides. Right next to it, but <laughs> you can't see, you can just make out parts of the outline of it, that's the Isle of Rum. And just over there, this is the Sleep Peninsula of the Isle of Sky. And those mountains in the background are the Black Coolin. Not a bad view. I kind of like the way the, the water's swirling around here. I think there's a sandbank just under the surface and it's causing the waves to go in some unexpected angles every now and again. And you've got that beautiful green aqua colour in the water. The pale yellow of the sand and those patterns being formed by the, the water.
Right, the people that were here when I arrived have moved, so <laughs> it's a wee bit, a wee bit less awkward to go and explore where they were sitting. There. So I'm just going to make my way over. As I said before, I've never been. I have no idea if there's even any nice viewpoints or potential shots here when the weather and the light is better. But I'm in the area and I thought, Do you know what, I'm going to give it a, a check out. Still very, very blustery, as you can probably tell from the audio here. Well, I'm here. The wind is a little bit less biting here, which is good. The only real shot, potential shot, I can see is this. The view over to the Coolin, with these rocks as a foreground interest, and the colour in the water providing some colour contrast. But even that, I'm not completely sure that that would be a, an award-winning photograph. There is some interesting textures and patterns in the rock, which might add a little bit of interest if the light was better. Yeah, one for the future, I think. This looks to be a scrambling path of sorts up onto that little ridge. It would be amiss of me to not at least explore. Again, I'm liking these diagonal lines in the rocks here, leading the eye up to the island in the background. Just no direct light to talk about, so it's quite flat. Right, I managed to get up. Not really an awful lot going on, is there? One potential would be to use these yellow gorse bushes and use that colour contrast against the blue and green sea. possible shot there, do you think, with the reflections in that rock pool? Maybe here? Yeah, I'll give it a go. I'm still shooting handheld here. Right, I've come out beyond that pool, which is just there behind me. It's like something out of Dead Marshes and Lord of the Rings. Anyway, oh, are we about to have a little burst of light? Anyway, I decided that this might make an interesting shot as well. The rocky foreground is your foreground interest. The leading line of the, the fissures and cracks in the rocks leading the eye up to the island in the background. Yeah, 
I'm not sure there was any <laughs> award-winning photographs there. But it's got a bit of potential. Maybe, maybe when if we've got a nice sunset, this might be a nice spot to shoot sunset from. But not in these conditions, and not today. I love that. Look at the lichen on them. It makes for quite an interesting leading line, doesn't it? Something like that. As I said before, I'm here just now, might as well grab it. I'm never sure at this stage just how much of what's been shot will make it into the final edit but uh, I'm just heading back to the car just now I not almost I almost dropped the camera there which is coming on the back of I've already broke a filter holder and almost lost the polarising filter into the sea so I guess these things really do come in for easy Anyway, thankfully the camera didn't fall and uh, I'm heading back towards the car now. But in the meantime, if you enjoyed the video, give us a little thumbs up and I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers, bye.